right, well, it's a lovely fall day today, and I am ready to create another card. Now, this is uh, materials, again, that my bestie sent, so I'm working on a uh, postcard. And I'm going to be using this substrate. It is four inches by six inches. All right, so let me get started. I've already pulled out some materials because I wanted to make this quick. And if you recall, um, she sent me this napkin. So I'm gonna throw that to the side because I simply cut the skull out. And we'll save that for later. And then I also cut these into strips because they will be our border for this. Okay. And if you see these circles here, I started cutting out from here. And I um, she put a little B in here. And that happens to be what I call our Becky. So I got to find a place for that. So let me grab my scissors. They're over here. And I'm just going to cut this circle out. It's not quite a complete circle. And then I'm going to cut out the B. Okay. I'm going to put this over to the side. All right, so where do we go from here? So we have an idea, right? I have, this is my base, so my background. This is going to be my border. This is going to be my um, main interest or my point of view. And then this is going to be the hair that I'm going to create or, or a hat, whatever comes out. We'll see how it, it, it uh, what we create. And I might just put that B right here. And we're going to see where we go from here. We may need more materials and we may not. So let's go ahead and glue on our substrate. I'm using the last bit of this glue. I don't like to waste if I can help it. I feel like I waste enough in life as it is. And I try to work on that quite a bit. really get that covered. You almost cannot go wrong with more glue. Okay, I think we can throw this away. And I'll pull out another glue stick. So I'm going to try to put this on here without having too much overhang. going to pull my brayer and really push it down. All right, put that away, flip it over. Let's go ahead and put the brayer on top again. And then we're going to trim it off. And get as close as we can. I probably will save these little pieces because they will come in handy for future collages. If you're finding yourself short on supplies, do consider saving your scraps and using them as best as you can. All right, so I'm going to grab another glue stick and then we're going to start working on our border. So I have on hand, these are uh, scholastic glue sticks. Not my favorite, but they'll work. I'm going to grab a, a parchment paper and I'm going to use that to glue these 
borders down because I really don't want them on my on my mat. Good thing about this being purple, it shows me where I have been and where I need to go. Okay. So I'm just going to be working these as best as I can. And then we'll cut whatever small pieces we need. Or in this case, we'll be cutting some pieces off. All right. So I'm going to be uh, seeing what I can do to work these two in. And hopefully I have measured that about right. And if you hear that in the background, that is my little man, Argus. Okay. And we'll need to connect these two. And you see how I bend that. I always think it's a great challenge to use every little bit of items that you have. That shows true creativity. And that's not going to fit perfect. So, going to put it to the side and see if we can find something that fits a little bit better. Why not? There we go. Now Let's cut off these edges. And give it a little trim. A little trim over here. All right. So the next step we're going to take is we're going to move this out of the way. And we're going to get these little little pieces that we no longer need. We're going to put them out of the way. So we're going to work on our skull. Now I think I'm going to go all the way down here and then I'm going to work on creating the skull around here. Something, something like this. All right? And we'll see how we can work it so it'll be somewhere along those lines we'll put the B in the middle and then we'll maybe put this up at the top it'll be something along those lines we'll go from there and see what happens all right so we're going to put the skull now it is uh, napkin so it is in a sense like tissue paper very delicate and there is the possibility that it will tear so try to be careful but don't beat yourself up if it does tear it's not the end of the world all right well got a little bit folding over there so I'm going to come in Lucy and I'm going to glue down here Lucy okay so let's start seeing if we can glue and create a crown of some sort or hat 
I think I'm going to go in the middle here. You can always trim anything you need to. And I'm going to see if I can slide this under. And create something like that. And let's see if we can do the same over here to create something like this. And let's see if we can come over here with that. Okay, maybe put this in the, let's see, maybe do this here and then we can do this in the middle. Try to think of one step ahead. Makes life a little bit easier. I think. Right. Right. Maybe we can put that there. And you probably hear my dogs in the background. Let's see, we'll put it there instead. And let's see if we can trim the bee down. That is Argus and Fiona playing. All right, so we're gonna put this in the middle. All right now we come back and we will um, do some doodling. So I'm going to see what I have available to me after I move some of this away. I want to clean my space as much as I can. And let's see. Now I'm going to see if this gold pen, this gold gel pen, will write and it looks like it will. So I want to just scratch in a little extra around the border because it matches what I have in the background already. And then I think I'm going to come around do an outline of my skull. Then I'm going to just do something like this because I'm not really sure what I want to do with the eyes, but maybe I will leave it like that. And maybe I'll do the gold teeth because that is a thing for people. Maybe that's a thing for this person. All right. So I need to come in here and do a little doodling around here. So I'm going to just see what happens. And I think that the gold, while it, it will work, we'll have to see if it will work enough. So I'm just coloring in, creating movement. And you can create whatever movement you want. So what I think I'm going to do is now grab my pen that's black, see if I can create maybe a band. Then maybe a little background for the B. See if I'm able to. If not, I can pull out another pen. Okay. 
Okay. And now I think I'm going to trim down the ghost here. Now I did go in and I created a little bit of uh, more depth and made the letters bigger. And so if I were to put that right here, I think that would be really kind of cute. My friend Be Becky has sent me some wonderful things. And if you want to challenge me with making cards out of your materials, please go to my Facebook group and get that information. I'll have it posted in the comments. And let's see if we can now, maybe let's see if our gold pen will show up. I'm just doing little X's. Just little X's. And then I'm going to do some dots. All right. So I think I want to do a little bit more. So I'm going to grab my pen here. And this is a Tombow, I'm not really sure what kind of pen it is, but it's going to allow me to go around these edges. And create something. Let's see what I can smear in. Okay. Let's see. I like this. It's got enough bling, and I really don't know what else I could possibly add. Maybe I've got some of this um, tape here that my son pulled out. And I could probably incorporate that as part of the band. Maybe something along those lines. Not really sure. We'll see if I like it when it's said and done. Gonna cut that there. And maybe I can move this over. Sometimes this takes a little bit to make work. Okay. All right, I think that tells a good story. So this is what I have created today. This is using uh, the materials that my best friend sent to me. So I have a few more cards for sure that I can make. And this is using a border, a background. Um, cut out these little circles using the word ghost, some washi tape, and then um, a face from a napkin. Not too many things. I think you'll enjoy. I hope this expands on your creativity and gives you some wonderful ideas to use your things that you have and that you will be creative and enjoy the process. Until tomorrow, enjoy your day. Bye.